So we know exactly what we have to compute to find the Voronoi diagram, which is the beach line at a fleet point. But how exactly do we have to update it? How exactly does this work in practice? Because the beach line, that's many parabolas, and then we still have to find the breakpoints and the event points and so on. And that's the fortune sweep. Uh, let's have a look at it together. The algorithm to compute the Voronoi diagram this is very similar to the sweep line algorithm we had in lecture 2. So we start with a priority queue that has all the side events in the beginning sorted by Y coordinate. Later we will also put the circle events in there. Then we have a data structure for the sweep status for the beach line that's again a balanced binary search tree that contains all these parabolas that define the beach line, all these at most 2n-1 parabolas. And then we have a doubly connected edge list that's our graph data structure where we want to save the Voronoi diagram. Now we go through our event queue and we handle all the events just like in a normal sweep. So we take the next event, and if it is a side event, then we use a subroutine and a side event of P. And otherwise it's a circle event, we find the arc that will disappear and handle the circle event for this arc. And in the very end, all the remaining nodes that are unbounded edges and we return the data structure. So everything that's still in our balance binary search tree, all the parabolas that are still part of the beach line, they will just continue on and they will give us unbounded edges that go downwards to infinite. So the question that is, remains is how do we do these handle events? How do we handle a side event and how do we handle a circle event? Let's start with the side event. The side event is defined by the sweep line finds a new side, so it reaches the y coordinate of the next side. We discussed earlier what do we have to do here now. Well, at the point that the side is reached, a new parabola starts in P, and in the beginning it just goes straight upwards. So we have to find in our data structure what is the arc that's directly vertically above P. And since this is y we can do a binary search here in a binary search tree and we can find it. Now if this arc has a pointer to any circle event, the circle event that will later tell us here we will have a new Voronoi vertex, then we delete these events. Now since we get a new parabola, we have to split the parabola alpha into two new ones, into the part that lies to the left of this and the part that lies to the right of this. So this is now alpha 0, this is alpha 1 and this is alpha 2. And in the data structure we had one leaf that is exactly our parabola alpha and that corresponds to a point Q and that we also have to split into three parts. We have to split it in by a one, Q and P into the parabola alpha 0 that corresponds to Q, then alpha 1 that corresponds to P, and then alpha 2 that corresponds to Q. So these are our no, new breakpoints. These are exactly these two points here where these parabolas meet. And these breakpoints, they define new Voronoi edges afterwards. Wherever two parabolas meet, that's where a new Voronoi edge starts. So we have to add the Voronoi edges QP and PQ that correspond to these intersection points to our Voronoi diagram. And then we have to find new circle events. So we have to find where is the circle event for alpha 1, alpha 0 and this parabola to the left. So where do P, Q and this point uh, come together and what is the circle event for alpha 1, alpha 2 and whatever parabola is here to the right. So where do these three points come together, where this uh, point that has on its circle, largest circle exactly these three on the boundary. In this example there is none, but she, in general there might be a new one. Now about the circle event. What do we have to do here? Well, a circle event is just defined by an arc. It is the point that has on its largest circle three sides that have three consecutive arcs. 
and then the middle arc will disappear after that point. We will get this Voronoi vertex, and this arc is afterwards gone. So we delete it from the beach line, and we update the breakpoints. Before we had a breakpoint between alpha and its left neighbor, alpha left, and alpha and alpha right, and now we have a new breakpoint between alpha left and alpha right. Then we delete all circle events that evolve alpha because alpha is not on the beach line anymore. And we add a new Voronoi vertex that's at the intersection point of alpha left and alpha right here. And we start with the Voronoi edge that corresponds to this new breakpoint. Then we've updated the Voronoi diagram and we only have to find again new circle events which is between alpha left and alpha right and whatever arc is here and alpha left alpha right and whatever arc is here on the right side. What is the running time of this algorithm? Well for each of these steps let's see here we have to search in data structure it takes log n time we do some stuff we split it that's fine add stuff here that's fine find new circle events, so this we can do in logarithmic time. About here we delete something, we update the breakpoints, it's logarithmic time, delete circle events, and, uh, since we have pointers we can do this in log n time for each of them, and yeah we add new stuff to the edge list, that's fine, we find new circle events, we insert them, so everything here can be done in logarithmic time. But how many events do we have? So how often do we have to do logarithmic time? And we do it here for the handed side event and handed circle event. Side event, we do exactly once for every input side. So exactly n such events. And circle events, we do exactly once for every Voronoi vertex. So we have at most 2n-5 such events, as we proved earlier. So the total running time is order of n log n. And that's the main result of this lecture. If in a set p of n points in the plane, the fortune sweep computes the Voronoi diagram in order of n log n time and order of n space. And this is called fortune sweep because it was invented by Stephen Fortune of Bell's Labs. This in a very classic algorithm in the seminar work, a sweep line algorithm for Voronoi diagrams. And this appeared on the second um, symposium on computational geometry. This year there's the 36th. So this is one of the oldest computational geometry algorithms and also still one of the most important ones. Thank you for watching.